If there's something I'm really grateful for when it comes to an app, a simple software that helped me get back my time and most important, my sanity, that would be Trello. Now, today I'm gonna be showing you behind the scenes to a snippet of what it looks like for me to become more strategic with my time, to become more productive, and how I utilize this app to literally do a time study of myself so I'm constantly leveling myself up from doing tactical things to the strategic things utilizing simple color codes. Today, I'm gonna to be taking you behind the scenes to a coaching call that I recently did that shows you exactly how I do it so that by the end of this video, you'll be able to utilize this tool the right way and get back your time, win your day, and as well as your sanity. I can tell you that no matter how much stuff I do, no matter how hard I work, at the end of the day, I will typically feel I didn't do enough. I think about all my activities um, as strategic or tactical. Okay? Mm. And, and this is going into like towards systems and process and scaling um, through that. Out of everything that I do, whether it is I'm putting my task on, on Trello or whether it's on ClickUp, I'm thinking about the task that I'm doing. Is this a red or a green activity? Okay, so I, I utilize this thing, what I call like a, a traffic light system for all of my activities. Yellow, it's something like somewhat in the middle, okay? Mm. Now, this means that as, a, as entrepreneurs, we want to be able to think about this activity that I'm doing right now, whether it is, you know, doing this social media, posting this optimization, this funnel. Is this something that is taking me, right? I like all of you to imagine that you're in the middle of this huge lake, and now you got to swim towards the shore. All activities is just these two things. It's either you're swimming towards the shore or it's an activity that helps you. You're, you're kicking and you're threading water. Now, these two activities in business, they're both crucial. What will happen if all you're doing is kicking water? Well, you'll, you'll stay afloat for a while. But what's eventually going to happen? What's eventually going to happen is you will feel tired. Eventually, you realize it's not really going anywhere. You realize, well, but at the same time, it's it's necessary to keep the business afloat. Um, but after a while, you'll grow tired and eventually you will drown. Now, if you think about business activities the same way, what are those type of activities? Well, those activities would be like customer support. It would be like going out there, getting sales, right? Following up with clients on payments on the invoice, right? Are these activities important of course right this is what keeps the business going in a full but if all you do is this then it will never really go anywhere how can i color code these activities mm. is it green yellow or red okay now for me personally all of my activities that um so so some of you may know for like my personal productivity for many years i've utilized trello to kind of like map out my my my, my, my task my activities uh, what it is that I'm about to do. It's just a productivity like tracker at how I deal with um, the team and all of that. So mm -hmm. I know that this is something that Shuin talks more about in, in people and process. Um, but like one of the things that we are doing right now is I am moving everything into uh, ClickUp. ClickUp mm. is similar to Trello, except that I feel that um, a lot more things are a lot more robust and we just never migrated because I've been utilizing Trello for like about seven years or so. In all of my activities, okay, um, I color code every single thing that, that I do. Wow. And the reason why I color code them is because if it's red, it tells me that it is something I need to let go of by either a person or a process. So mm -hmm. this is how I keep going. So every single month, at the end of the month, I'll take a look at my board, and I'll take a look at was what were all of my activities that was either red or yellow. And the mm. ones that's red or yellow tells me, okay, red means like, what are you even still doing those things? Okay. Understood. I need Understood. to do something about it to eliminate myself from it. So if it's something that you know you eventually want to let go of, or it's not what you should be doing because it's not in line with your strengths, you know, stuff like that, then that task should be red. Okay. Now, now what is yellow? Yellow means it's kind of like a mixture of, of strategic and tactical. OK, 
Okay, so red for me is just pure technical. It's something that I need to either let go by a person or a process. Okay, yellow means for now it still requires me because maybe in terms of my feedback or training somebody up, that is still crucial for me at that point in time based on my business. Eventually, the thing now just because something is green for me doesn't mean that it might be green for you. Just because something is red for me doesn't mean that it should be red for you. Okay, this depends really on our strengths, what we love doing, right? What we're good at, the direction of our business. So for the end of each month, I will be like, okay, this is ridiculous, okay? Um, I've been spending my time on these red and yellow things. Therefore, then I'm asking myself now, can I, can I level up with a better process? Or can I eventually let go by, by, of this thing by, by, with, a, with a person, okay? And then as long as you keep doing that, this forces you to up your game and to either leverage with a better process or a better system or a better or a person. I think the the question to ask yourself is not so much like, okay, in order for me to do this, I stop doing that, but mm -hmm. rather, you know, really coming down to how do I prioritize something like this? So you, you want to, you know, really think about how you can break down your week and you know just working like three days on the things that is needed to do in the business and then spend the other two days uh working on strategic stuff and thinking about like what you can do in the business well i hope you enjoyed the behind the scenes to this coaching call if you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments below what your biggest takeaway is and as always be sure to smash the like button it does help the channel out a little bit and to subscribe to this channel if you want to be notified of future videos just like this one now some of you asking me how can i be part of this process how can i ask you questions how can i have you coach me or mentor me um, we want to make sure that we are working with the people that's the right fit you'll need to fill up a form there's a link right below this video somebody on my team might give you a call to interview you to see if the right fit for each other and if you want to apply and see if you're a good fit then all you need to do is click on this link in the description box below and my team will be in touch with you